Hey, what's up guys? I am Joe from Workbench, and this week we're gonna talk about making a 3D terrain in After Effects. So here's what we're gonna be making. If you wanna grab the project file for this, check the link in the description below. Let's get to it. So let's see how we set this up. In my shape layer here, I have a wave world effect added to it. I suggest that you pre-comp this wave world effect and make sure that you make the comp really large because it actually scales in when it actually runs the wave world effect. So to get the resolution that you need, you need to make your comp way larger than your intended display. And the main thing that you need to do is under the height map controls, set the contrast to zero. Then after that, you move down your timeline a little bit and you can see the actual waves start animating. And these are dependent upon the producers. You can mess with these and change things around and get different effects. And if you want, you can also add a ground in here, which takes basically a grayscale mat. Then the only other thing we're gonna do is turn this off and add an extract effect. And I'm gonna set this to green. And then we're gonna drag this point in until the green goes away. Probably about where this dot is. So now we're just left with the actual wave itself. Normally, this is not how you use this effect. You use it to make a map so you can display something. But we're gonna get a free 3D terrain out of it. So here's some other things you can do with it. Basically, you can take it, put it on the side, kind of get things from the profile, maybe use this in a displacement. It kind of gets like a VHS kind of distortion in here. Or you can use it to build an actual 3D terrain. Add some depth of field with a camera blur, add some glow, and then you have a terrain you can use. This has holes punched out of it because of the map that I used as the ground plane. And then the last setup is just in more of an example of how you can use it. You can actually animate, have the waves move, there's a lot of different settings you can use, but I'm just using it for the terrain, so I'm not too concerned with how it all animates. Hopefully you can find a creative use for this. It's pretty good in situations where you don't need trap code and mirror. Otherwise, I would definitely recommend that, seeing as you can use a whole bunch of different things like camera depth of field and all that kind of stuff, but this is a good alternative for something that's quick. Anyway, if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you'd like to help support what we do, check out patreon.com slash workbench. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe because we do one every week, and make sure to check out the blog at workbench.tv. As always, I am Joe. We'll see you next week. Bye.